She might look like crap, but her feathers are on her back again. <laughs> oh yeah, they are, aren't they? She don't have any tail feathers. Goosey goose. What you doing, bud? Don't fight. What you doing, Rico? Can I get... Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I got one trespasser in there. Can't get him out. Trespasser. Where you at, Ted? You can nab it. What are you doing? Stepping on my foot to get in there. What, what, what is this? I guess at first I didn't see it but I guess my husband did and so anyway he was super aggressive husband carried him around for a little bit petted him and now he's okay but I still think he's not very good to the ladies so got to watch out for Ted there's a hen. They're laying eggs already. We'll get a couple eggs. And yeah. Rico's the middle. Look at him. He's, like, yeah, He's bigger. I'll get in there. I'll get in there. You don't have to get in there. I got it, Leghorn. Anybody else? You want some? Without your snood getting in the way? Hmm? Anybody? I used to hand feed all my birds. Hey, lady. Ducks like scratch too. Hold on, I gotta get some scratch for them.
other duck's still out there. Okay, the reason why we're really out here, God, it's beautiful, by the way. It's like 70 degrees, it's gorgeous. The reason why we're out here today is we're getting our turkey pin um, figured out. And it's a little wet, so we didn't know how we were going to drag it with the tractor. But um, that is going to be um, their mating hut because they're getting super aggressive with each other. Not with us, but with each other. So we need to put their mating pairs in there. Hey. The long hangy thing on a turkey that you guys see there that grows really big is called a snood. We always laugh about it. Their heads change color too. Their heads change color too. So, um. Hey, whenever it's cold or if it's warm, their heads will change color. And since it's prime mating, se mating season, um, they're going to show off more color as well. Look at that one right there. He's really red. It's crazy. And there's my Valentino. Hi, Val. Gerald and his true flock. He's like, but look at all the ladies that follow him. Yeah, that's my man. All right, y'all, this is the turkey shack that we had, oh, my husband had made. Um, we decided to put it together so that we could separate um, the birds so we can get some purebred uh, royal palm turkeys. So what's next? We have to drag this thing over to the chicken yard and then we'll keep um, the ma oh, a mating pair in there so that they um, can lay some eggs. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Can't wait to get some um, royal palm purebreds out of this.
It's going to be great. We use this tarp. This tarp, I've never actually seen anything like it. It's kind of a, like a rubbery tarp. And um, basically using it for a sunshade and to keep the rain out, mostly. Um, keep them dry. Not that the turkeys really care. Yeah, and the turkeys don't really care. Not these ones, anyway. So. Then, over here, we got the door. So. I gotta figure out what We still have to figure out, yeah, what we're gonna do for a latching system on this door, but for the most part, everything is looking pretty good. We used... This is what, this isn't chicken wire, this is welded, welded, wire welded wire fencing here. Just like scraps I had left over. Everything that we have typically is used or had been used. So we had a, we still have a ton of this on the property. So um, we used some of that to make this up. We did buy new cattle panel fencing, but that was before the prices went up. Um, and yeah. So it looks pretty good. And we'll get this thing moved. And so these dudes can do their thing. Say hi, Rico and Suave. What's up? Okay, so what we're doing here, I was trying to round up the birds a little bit. It's gonna be an interesting thing to do. We have a whip, but the whip is not meant to be used as a whip but as a walking tool to walk the birds right on in to this contraption here. So let's get them in. Now these are the mating pair right here. These are Royal Palm turkeys. And um, this is gonna be their love shack. And as you can tell, it's very, very difficult. So we're just going to try and get it done. Okay, so we couldn't show this entire process because I had to help. So, but we got them in there and these are going to be a mating pair. Um, we have some straw in there for her to get a box and we got to get some, yeah, some kind of nesting box for them. But we got some straw in there for them and um, she will pick that apart here before too long. And um, yeah, so can't wait. We are going to test out a turkey egg to just see if it's fertile. I think I'm 99% sure it is. We did see some love action going on. So it probably is, but we just need to make sure. And this one right here, this one is Rico. Of course we have this breeding pair. Now we have an issue with this lady here. We don't think she is a pure. So um, that we needed to take a look at, but we don't think she's a pure lady. Um, this one is definitely a pure, um, royal palm, so. And she's looking. Look at her. And he's trying to court her. Hey, what's she doing? Okay, so this is what we're doing here. He is putting straw in a box. The turkeys don't really need a huge place to nest. They just need like a couple walls and that's it. Like it's not a big deal. So she'll go in there and she'll lay her eggs and we'll go in there and get them. I gotta close the store again. The, uh, this, this breeding hut is twice the size of the breeding huts that, uh, where we got these birds from the twice the size of what she uses so they are plenty big enough calm down guys just trying to give you some straw on here all right i'll we'll leave you be but we gotta let him cool down a little bit because he's getting worked up you can tell by the color of his head that he's worked up so So we just leave it be. But they got shade over here. They got water. They got food. And this is probably the nicest breeding hut ever. And I'm probably going to do a heart right here just for the heck of it. 
Sounds good to me. Um, but yeah, so they get a little bit of shade over here as well. And um, they're inside the electric fence, so they're going to be separated from everyone. It's okay if a chicken gets in there. Um, I assume that a chicken will get in there, but I mean, they're not going to breed a chicken. This is to help us be able to find the eggs because the hens will sneak off and lay all their eggs out in the field behind there or something, and we'll never find their eggs. Uh, so this way, they'll lay their eggs in an area that we can search and find them. I've gotten two eggs so far, so I know that at least one of them starting to lay. We're going to check the fertility in that, and hopefully they're good to go. You can tell on her, that's why I picked her to put in here, because she has mud on her back, which means that she's been getting bred. That's a sign of that. The other, one, the other hen doesn't have mud on her back yet, so... Well, this is an exciting moment for our farm. And, um, and if we have issues with um, the birds because of these big openings, I'll just have to run some uh, smaller fence or chicken wire along the sides. But no big deal. We'll see if this works or not. I think she's already starting to nest. Look at her. She's starting mm. to pull the straw apart and everything. Look at her. Mm. She see she's already starting. She she won't even use the box. I guarantee it. Right in the middle of that straw, where she'll lay her eggs. <laughs>